This cool move is for Legend of Dragoon. I'm going to show you how to open the locked chest in the Phantom Ship. Here we go. In the Phantom Ship, there is a chest that says uh, evil may come to the person who attempts to open the treasure chest. There's a combination lock on this chest to get the combination. Leave the room where the treasure chest is. Go down to the lower right hand corner of the screen and then make your way over to the staircase that leads down to the lower deck of the ship. In the lower deck of the ship, you'll find a hallway filled with ghosts and several doorways you can enter. You must fight your way through the ghosts in the hallway to get to the door all the way in the far right hand side of the hallway. Once you get into the room at the end of the hall, make your way into the upper right hand corner of the room where there's a small sparkling bit on the floor. Press the X button to inspect this and you'll be visited by four ghosts. Each ghost will tell you a different number. Take note of these numbers. For three of these four numbers are the solution to the combination. Now that you're equipped with the clues that'll help you solve the combination lock, make your way back through the hallway to the upper deck of the ship. The first time you attempt to open this chest, you'll get 10 tries. If you're unsuccessful in choosing the combination within 10 tries, the chest will lock up on you and you'll have to go get new clues from the ghosts in the lower deck. Using the numbers that the ghosts in the lower deck of the ship told you, rearrange the numbers until you find the correct combination. Whenever you input the incorrect combination, you might see three dots appear on screen afterwards. This indicates that one or more of the numbers you chose was the correct number and was in the correct position for the combination. This will help you know you're on the right track when you're trying to figure out the combination. And that's how to open the combination chest inside the Phantom Ship on Legend of Dragoon. You can repeat this up to six times, but each time you do, the chest will reset, which means you'll have to go below decks and get new clues from the ghosts. You'll also get fewer and fewer times to input the numbers before the combination resets each time. Good luck! In this segment of Cool Moves, I'm going to show you how to get past the Norse God Puzzle in the Spiral Tower for Wild Arms 2. Let me show you how it's done. First of all, when you come to this room, you'll notice that there are seven plates. You must hit these seven plates in a certain order in order to open up the door to the next room. The first plate that you want to activate will be this one right here, the one that talks about the mother's face. The second plate you want to hit will be this one over here, the one that talks about two. The third plate you want to hit is going to be this one. Here's where you're going to want to press the fourth plate. Here's the fifth plate. The sixth plate. And lastly, the seventh plate. And as you can see, that will open up the door. And that's how it's done. Here's a cool move to get off the rooftop in the New York slums level for Siphon Filter 2. What you want to do here is come up onto this fan. Make sure you select a powerful weapon with enough uh, ammo. I have a couple of guards up here that you're going to want to take out. Go ahead and take them easily out with headshots. Have one there on, on the level of the rooftop that you're on and the one below. Pick up any flak jackets and ammo that they have. Then come over here to this ledge on top of the roof. Turn around and drop down below. And use your L1 button to see an awning down below that says clean rooms low rates. Drop down to that area there and this will get you down in the street area in the New York slums level so you can go ahead and continue on. And that's how it's done. Here's a cool move for the level Farcom Expo Center in the game Siphon Filter 2. Now the troubling part is getting through the ventilation shaft immediately following the second checkpoint without alerting the guards nearby. I'm going to show you how it's done. Starting here immediately after you acquire your second checkpoint, 
You want to climb up into the ventilation shaft and then follow it as it winds around the many different corners. What we're looking for here is the three ventilation grates. What we want to concentrate on is the uh, second or the middle ventilation grate. That's where we'll get a clear view of the GI. Once again, not this ventilation grate, that's the first one, but the second one, which is right here. First thing we need to do is go ahead and shoot out the ventilation grate with our pistol. Okay, then you see a GI right down there. Now we need to go ahead and equip our crossbow because it uses tranquilizer darts. It's very important that we do not kill the GI because that will fail the mission. We do not want to shoot the GI in the head because that will also uh, kill the guard, which once again we do not want to do. Shoot him anywhere else on the body with your crossbow. That'll take him out. And you want to continue down through the ventilation shaft until you reach the final grating. Switch back to your 9mm pistol, shoot that out, and then drop down to the floor below. And that's how you get through the ventilation shaft without alerting all the GIs. Welcome to another exciting edition of Cool Moves. This week we'll look into Spyro, Year of the Dragon. I'm going to show you how to get on top of the temple in frozen altars. Make your way from the beginning of the level, up this staircase, and around this corner, where you'll come to a ledge you can glide from. From here you can glide onto the temple. So just line yourself up on this corner, with the corner of the temple in view, then charge over the edge, jump, glide, and flutter at the end to get on top of the temple wall. From here, you can make your way to the top of the temple, where you can glide to another egg. And that's how it's done.